folks so um yeah simon here to but it's going to do a, a build i found something to build first of all we just want to address something why have i start putting my name on here and you're going to see us in all my videos from now on is um because i don't normally um put my name on things it turns out that my videos are being used elsewhere um on a site where you pay to watch this shit um that's not on so my name's gonna be on here from now on sorry guys um but there you go Anyway, so what have I been? I've been to that place where everybody hates me. No, that's unfair. Not everybody hates it. I do. Uh, but I still go in there because it's the only place like it. Um, Maplins. And I got a nice little Velman kit. Sound generator. So I'm hoping that it's going to give me a um, um, fire engine -y type sound. Emergency vehicle type sound. Why I hate you cry would I want something like that? Answer is simple. Uh, where I work, I work in uh, operations, IT operations. We've constantly got uh, various uh, monitoring systems and a whole slew of monitoring systems monitoring all of our servers. Um, and we use Ichinga, Nagios, the name but a few. And you know, it's, if you're in IT, you 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 know the usual candidates. Um, and you also know one thing that they're missing. Well, you can get add-ons for browsers, for alerts, and all that kind of crap. Um, but uh, yeah, most people switch them off, whereas if uh, we've got one that can't be switched off, then all the more fun. And why not make something interesting? So here we go, the Bellman kit. We've got uh, police siren, siren, uh, fire engine, machine gun or ambulance. Uh, we'll have a play with them all. Um, now, and initially I'm just gonna build the kit and see if we can make it work. Um, once the kit's built, uh, we're going to see if I can actually trigger it using a Raspberry Pi or maybe even power it using a Raspberry Pi because this uses a 9 volt battery. As you know, Raspberry Pi, we can get 5 volts out of it. We'll have to see what current draw is on this. And, um, you know, see if we can make something interesting. So, I see, so the dip switch is there <laughs> to make the police siren um, and the other stuff. So, without further ado. I'm going to uh, probably pause the camera, sort all the parts out so that I know what's where, um, and then we'll get on and get it soldered together. Welcome back, so I'm set up and ready to go. Um, R1, R2 is a 1K resistor, so we've got them there, brown, black, red. Um, R3 is a 100K resistor, brown, black, yellow. Just, just making sure that's right, yep, yep. And then we've got this 47 ohm resistor, which is yellow, violet, black. Obviously yellow being four, violet being uh, seven. Uh, I'm not got these off the top of my head. I've actually got a piece of paper here, which I find really handy. I'll just leave that an easy view. Um, I don't do it enough to remember. I guess I will do eventually. So uh, I shall, if you hear music in the background, it's some... Um, Royalty free music that just likes to have a bit of music on in the background. Um, I'll probably I'll make a start. Um, I, mean, I don't know. It's if it's a piece, it's going to take a while. Uh, I'll pause the music and start it, and I'll pause the film, and we'll just carry on from where I left off. Okay, so onwards and upwards.
what have I got to do now? Power it up. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't have a PP3 battery of all things, and I have a battery. So what I'm doing, so I've just got a little bench power supply. Uh, this is like this because it's drawn a bit. Um, uh, I don't know what, I said that's 9 volts. And what's the worst that can happen? Nothing. Okay, so we really need to have power on. Oh! Yeah, that's not too irritating. So that's with switch one in the up position. Uh, destructions, any other destructions there. So it doesn't actually tell it. Oh, yes, it does. So that is. So all down. Allegedly, could be fire engine. No, no. Yeah, that's. Yeah, so that's. Uh, <laughs> Please slap siren. With it up in one position now. That there. Allegedly that's um, a fire engine. Uh, let's so switches one and two up. No, wait, what's going on here? All down now. So we've just done so we've done that, done that. Now let's look at this. So that's the middle one up. This is supposed to be a machine gun. Okay. Um, and this is an ambulance. Well, it works. Cool. So, what am I going to do next? Uh, let's switch power off. Uh, I'm going to see what the lowest voltage this will run on is actually. Yeah, let's do that first. So we're running on 9 volts. Oh, shit, that wasn't good. Ah! I was going to start swearing there, but I got to try not to. And that is actually using <laughs> 7. Oh, wow. 700 millivolt. No, not 700. 7 millivolts. It's using next to nothing. So if we switch that off, drop the voltage down. If I can get this to run off 5 volts, then on oh, seriously low milliamps. So I think it's about 200 milliamps you can run through from a Pi. Shit, that oh, went too high. Then it's all contained. Right, okay. Yeah, it runs. Yeah, that's irritating enough. Right, that's the that's it. Right, okay, and so I'm switching the power supply off. Okay. Hey! So I'm thinking triggering a MOSFET to switch that because the current's so low. I'll probably get away with that. Actually, I could probably use some. Yeah, okay, and I've got some ideas what I can use there, but I'm not going to share them with you just yet. What a, You know, when you put something down that you need, I've just done that. Um, because I had a cunning plan. It's great having an alarm, but you, you know, you got something to listen to there, haven't you? Now what you need is something to see. So once again, in the great map lens, this thing. They're selling them off dirt cheap, uh, 4 .99. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video now, start another video, and do a tear down on this. Uh, we'll take it a bit and see how we can make this work.